So yes, for those who did not uh, uh, hear me, um, so we will be discussing about the MNT guidelines, which is nothing but the medical nutrition therapy guidelines and uh, some research highlights as well as uh, how we can, you know, translate the uh, main research focus points into practice and certain simple practice points that we can use in our daily uh, counseling sessions. Also, just a word of caution that uh, whatever practice that I do is based on allopathic uh, uh, methodologies and uh, I heard that uh, with the poll that was hosted a few minutes back there are even Ayush practitioners so maybe a few points might differ from whatever you might practice I'm not really sure because uh, I, I don't really uh, practice based on alternative medicine methodologies so you can just uh, take points whichever you know uh, will be adaptable from for your practice. So now we are just seeing uh, a simplified um, points from the IDF Diabetic Atlas 2021. This was given by the Indian, uh, International Diabetic Federation this year. So they say that in Southeast Asia, around uh, two in one out of one in two adults live with undiagnosed diabetes. So the first point itself is very clear that undiagnosed diabetes is a threat to the entire uh, you know, universe. And especially uh, for, a cap, uh, for a country like India, where we've been named as the diabetic capital, uh, this seems to always be a problem. And the second point that they uh, can keep forth is one in 11 adults. One in 11 might seem to be you know, a smaller number, but when you see it in the exact population rates, it's around 90 million who are living with diabetes. So I, I would uh, really uh, think that around 40 to 50 percent out of this 90 million would be in India or even more. And there is an estimate that around 7 lakh deaths would be caused just by diabetes in the year 2021. So uh, this is uh, how intense diabetes is becoming a problem day to day. The major issue here is we aren't looking at it as a disease anymore because it's, it's become a condition and it's become more common in the population that uh, people are very negligent about that, ignorant about that. So when we talk about the diagnostic criteria as most of the practitioners uh, follow the ADA guidelines. Uh, so uh, we have uh, fasting more than 200 mg or a random blood glucose, uh, sorry, an A1C more than 6.5 uh, can be used as a diagnostic criteria to uh, diagnose a person with a type 2 diabetes. And uh, fasting blood glucose more than 120 milli, uh, milligram per deciliter can be used as a diagnostic criteria. So they, this is the same criteria that we used, uh, used to assess a patient when they uh, step up into a clinic for a nutrition assessment as well. Now, so we'll move on to the uh, nutritional management part. So when I talk about nutrition management part, uh, I, I, we, I, we have uh, good evidence that, uh, you know, an intervention by a registered dietitian can decrease the A1C rates by around uh, 0.3 to 2% uh, in people with type 2 diabetes. Throughout the seminar, I'll be concentrating only on type 2 diabetes and not on type 1 or uh, gestational diabetes or any other type of diabetes because... Uh, you know, our focus today will be especially on diabetic mellitus. And also it's been known that the, uh, even though the first line therapy for a diabetic management will be lifestyle modification, in lifestyle modification, around 80% of weightage is given to uh, nutritional modifications as well. So that is how important it becomes for a person to come and meet a nutritionist or a practitioner who has sound knowledge about MNT guidelines and this will help in decreasing the patient's A1C levels as well as his overall um, quality of life. So what will be the goals of MNT? The first one will be is to achieve uh, and maintain body weight. Why body weight is very important? Because body weight adds on to insulin resistance and there is also evidence to show that even one uh, uh, kg decrease in body weight can also bring down the A1C levels. And also uh, to attain individualized glycemic blood pressure and uh, lipid goals. So this will be uh, individualized based on the patient's uh, current blood parameters. And the third one is to delay or prevent the complication of diabetes. Like most of them say, uh, once you have diabetes, then it's a gateway to almost all the organ-related complications. So we have to prevent uh, the complications as soon as possible.